Hey beloveds, thanks for tuning into Beanie TV where I offer you sprinkles of spiritual sassiness. So you already know, let's go ahead and close our eyes. Take a deep breath in, release. It is what it is and it ain't what it ain't. It is what it is and it ain't what it ain't. It is what it is and it ain't what it ain't. Go ahead and take a deep breath in and release. Whatever it is, is, is what it is. And what it's not is what it's not. And what it will be is what it will be. And that is it. So this video is going to be about the books that I am currently reading. Um, for a little bit this year, I was not reading. I was just so caught up in <clears throat> a relationship that I was in. And I just wasn't reading that much. I wasn't able to just have moments of reading. So I've gotten back into that and um, I have three books that I'm reading right now or two books that I'm reading right now. One that I'm going to be ending and beginning the new year with and also I am rereading the Four Agreements by Don Miguel Ruiz. If you have never read that book, I highly recommend it. It is one of the pillars of self-help and self-discovery and um, I am rereading the second agreement which is don't take things personally. Now, I'm an Aries, I'm an empath, I'm a sensitive being, I'm a spiritual being and so I take things personally, I do. So um, I'm learning not to and yesterday a co-worker did something that really pissed me off and I got really really mad and I could feel the anger boiling up inside of me and then Thank God I'm reading rereading this chapter because I told myself don't take thing don't take things personally. The reason why they did that is because of them. It has nothing to do with you. It has nothing to do with you. And I relaxed. And later on that day, that coworker revealed to me a part of their personality which I was able to connect with why they did and do the things that they do. So now I can I can be free and I don't have to think about like why that person did what they did because take nothing personally and you're allowing your you're giving yourself personal freedom so if you have not read the four agreements I highly recommend you bringing that into your self love self help journey so let's get right into it let's get into the first book that I am currently reading the power of I am the by Jeffrey Jowett or Goffrey Jowett if you want to be fancy so this book is about aligning the chakras of consciousness the wonderful people at divine arts media reached out to me and um, sent me this book and it's so awesome because in the middle of this year I said that I really wanted to concentrate on my chakras you guys know I healed my root chakra earlier this year and I am so thankful that they reached out to me so please be sure to check out divineartsmedia.com Calm. They have a lot of books on spirituality. They have books on ayahuasca experiences. They have books on God and 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 the feminine energy of God. And this book is I haven't read it yet, but I'm excited because this book gives us affirmations for all of the root chakras. It tells us what crystals to use. It gives pictures. It lets us know what every single chakra does. How pretty is that? That illustration. So um i'm excited i am so excited it gives me affirmations and i really do want to be able to conquer what chakras are and really like teaching people how to heal their chakras because i do believe that these energy points in our bodies are it's so important to just make sure that we are balanced whole being so that we can be filled up with ourselves so that we can be used fully in this world as the light workers we are so this is Devon Franklin, Hollywood executive and husband to one of my favorite actresses. Um, sorry about the lighting. When I put the book up, it gets dark. Sorry, but um, this is Devon Franklin's The Hollywood Commandments. He is the he's a Hollywood exec. He used to work at Sony. He is a pastor, author, and like I just stated, the wife. Uh, sorry, the husband of Megan Good, who's one of my favorite. Um, actresses that I'm totally inspired by and this is a book on um, a spiritual guide to secular success okay I'm gonna tell you guys the background story because that's what we do here so I haven't been to church in a long time um, I had a really just weird 
uh, like super Christian thing happening with me last year and it didn't feel good it wasn't good I was losing my personal relationship with God so I called it quits on the church thing and my cousins came from London you check out that video of our vlog and um, you'll see us purchasing this book and my cousin wanted to go to One Church LA, which is um, a really great church out here in Los Angeles. And um, Devon sometimes preaches it because he's very good friends with Pastor Torre. So um, I hadn't been there in a long time, but she wanted to go. And of course, I wanted to be the hostess with the Moses, and I went with her. So we went, oh, my, both of my cousins were here at the time. So we went, and I didn't know who was going to be speaking, and it was Devon Franklin. And he's talking about success in Hollywood without compromising who you are and being a person of faith now I have Devon's first book which is called produced by faith and I read that before I moved out here and um, that was talking about basically the same thing like how he got into the industry in ways that he has been able to stay himself in a super faith based like he like uh, practices Sabbath like he is like devout ain't nobody telling him nothing and he has found so much success and produced has been able to be connected to some of like one of my favorite movies which is um oh my god what is it called you know when you be thinking about something and then you just forget what it's not is it jumping the broom is it jumping the broom let me know in the comments below because i can't be bothered to look it up but he was part of jumping the broom with megan good and paula Patton. let me know if that's the right movie but um and that's actually like where, where one of the times him and Megan were working together and they weren't even married yet. So anyway, so we went to church that day with a surprise that Devon was preaching and the word that he was preaching hit me like, <laughs> like, and what it did for my cousins and I, it really just told us to like, okay, let's like be like serious because let's really understand what God's will is for our careers and for our lives because we can't be like, just like in the motions like no like what's really good so we picked the book up right after church well actually we picked it up I think two or three days after we picked it up and I have read I'm not even halfway through honestly I haven't read a lot but I have highlighted a lot so let's let me just find a random area that I've highlighted okay so in this chapter it, he talks about that we are the talent like we are the vessel with which god is using us through in the world and something that i highlighted was um god's appointed time for your rise may not have come yet you may not have put in enough work or maybe you've been proud and forgotten what your talent is for remember god opposes the proud and shows favor to the humble we often look at humility as being the opposite of strength but it's not many of the most influential and powerful people in the world are also the humblest they recognize that this is not about them it's about what god does through them as a result they are blessed so this is a great book oh my camera's dying this is a great book for anyone who is wanting to be who the be themselves be faith-based be strong spiritually and entering into a world that kind of isn't and being able to be strong in that and letting nothing no person outside of you shake you from your values and beliefs so i highly recommend purchasing this book for all the people that are looking to be entertainers next book is sarah jakes roberts don't settle for safe <sighs> this book has literally taken me by my little edges and has really planted a lot of seeds in me and i am so thankful and grateful to be able to see sarah speak at one church and know that she's connected she's td jake's daughter and it's like to be in the same room with her she's such a powerhouse um and i really really like her as a person and her personality is so funny 
And if you ever get a chance to go to One LA Church and watch her speak or wherever you are in the country, in the world, if you ever get to see Sarah Jakes Roberts speak, she is the wife of Pastor Torre, who's the pastor at One Church. So this story, again, I was not going to church and I think I saw Sarah on my like Instagram feed and I was like, okay, whatever. And then a few days later, I went to Barnes & Noble and I saw her book and I didn't even know she had a book out. So I went to go pick up the book and I read part of it and she decided to snatch my soul. And I was like, oh my God, I need this book. But I didn't have any money. Like I didn't have extra money to buy this book. So I'm telling my uh, coworker about it and we're sitting down and I'm telling like this book, like I feel like I need this book. I'm going to buy it next paycheck, blah, 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 blah. So then he's like, okay, I'm, I actually have to meet some friends. So I'm going to talk to you later. And I was like, oh, okay, I was just, we were just having a deep conversation. You just want to leave. Okay, cool. And then he comes back and he buys me the book. But not only that he buys me the book, he bought me the exact copy that I had and that I was reading earlier that day because the makeup stain was, I, uh, I wear makeup and I stained the book. I mean, what you want me to do? So I stained the book and he bought me the exact one that I was reading. Which, like, the mind-blowingness of that is just insane. So let me open this up and read something. So it says, you have, to, you have to come to a place where you forgive your parents for not providing everything you needed. Life has a way of slowly stripping away our hope and innocence lack of attention, surviving rejection by our peers, facing difficulty in school, grief, bullying, financial instability, and so many more challenges can harden us. Uh, recognizing that those difficult moments not only hurt us in life, but also prepared us for life is almost unfathomable. Taking the next step and choosing to believe that those same disappointing moments serve to make your life better takes unyielding faith because pain is a teacher that every soul learns to respect. So this book takes us through different parts. So this book talks about frenemies. This book talks about faith in God. This book talks about um, romantic relationships. The, talk, the book talks about friendships and being able to uh, wash away the, 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 the hardening and the shells that might be around our hearts or around our souls and really breaking free of that and freeing ourselves and becoming the best and strongest that, that God has really asked us to be. Now, she talks about purpose. She talks about all of it. So I'm almost done with this book and really this book has done so much for me in so little time and I am so thankful for this book and please, please, because I know that there are people out there that are, that are, she kind of centers more on, on women. So I know that there are a lot of women out there who have hard hearts. So this book is calling you to soften it up. Like this book is calling you to just let go of what happened, learn from what happened, rise up and help others who maybe have gone through what you've gone through. And again, this is Sarah Jakes Roberts, Don't Settle for Safe. I highly recommend this book and please do your favor and go get this book. So again, I am reading The Hollywood Commandments by Devon Franklin, Don't Settle for Safe by Sarah Jakes Roberts. And I am going to get into The Power of I Am by Jeffrey Jowett. Again, Check out the amazing people at divineartsmedia.com. They are centered in light working stuff and light working um, resources. Um, so let me just read this actually. The Power of I Am is the perfect guidebook for anyone interested in higher conscious and truth. Jeffrey Jowett has a profound understanding of how to integrate the powerful forces of the chakra system into everyday life. And he teaches us how to maintain meaningful awareness through the alignment of our energy systems. Um, so yeah, I'm so excited about this book because you guys know chakras, gotta balance them, gotta take them to the next level. So, um, and I hope this shows you guys that again, you can mix Christianity with consciousness, enlightenment, spirituality. It doesn't have to be either or. It can be a beautiful blend of both. So I thank you guys for tuning in. If you've read these books, if you're interested, comment below, let me know. Um, and I'll see you guys next video. Okay.